Hello students, hope everything's okay. What a beautiful day out there. The sun is up, the birds are singing, the trees are blossoming. But, you know, it, it's spring and spring is underway. It's truly beautiful outside. The problem is most of us, we're really not getting out right now. And, and the reason being is because of the coronavirus. So this kind of has affected us all, including me. You see around, uh, used to in the evenings, on Wednesday evening, today's Wednesday, I'm used to hanging out with you guys. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I hope that everything's going good out there. Hope you're enjoying uh, your week. Hope you enjoyed your spring break. Um, we've been using a word that most of us, we we don't normally use lately. Uh, but in it's, it's, ba it's, it's right in the forefront of our mind right now. And, and that word is quarantine, which means a state, a period of isolation. You see, our daily routine has been disrupted, if you would say, due to this virus. You were getting out, used to getting out and going to school and, and learning and hanging out with your friends and, and doing all kinds of things, sporting events, you know, whether the, whatever it was is keeping you busy, you had plans, you were hanging out with your friends, you had a lot of sporting things that you were doing, but that's all been disrupted. And so in my study this week, I came across Psalms 46, 10 through 11, which I've read many, many times, and, but it really touched my heart this time. And the reason being is because of the situation. So if you would, grab your Bible. I want to read this together with you. So go grab your Bible. You can push pause if you need to. Uh, go grab your Bible and open to Psalms 46. And we're going to look at 10 and 11. I have my Bible here with me so we can read it together. Let's read it together. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now, I think that there's some great words for us today as we read that in 46. And, and you may say, why? What, you know, what, what's great about those words there? Of course, the Bible's great. Everything about it is great. But that really touched my heart. Because it's, it's something that we don't often do. And that is be still. You, you students are used to running around and doing a lot of things and, and staying very busy. And, and so you don't normally be still. And so you, you students, you're always on the go. You're always busy. But let's look at the second part of this, be still. It not only says be still, but it says be still and what? Know that I am God. So here it is, students. There are many, many times that the Bible, in the Bible where God's people, they're, they're quarantined. In some cases, they're self-quarantined. And in some cases, it's due to the Lord putting them there. In some cases, it's just because they were, they were on the run and they were afraid and they were on the run for fear. Now, in Psalms, we see that a lot. David is in a cave. He's running from Saul. But in those times and in those moments when David was alone, he listened to the words of the Lord. And so regardless of what reason it is that we, we are quarantined, it's a good time for us to really reflect and listen to the Lord and listen to what he has to say to us. And so I, I want you to take that time. Take that time to read God's word and to listen to what he's telling you. The Lord is definitely wanting to get our attention. The question is, are we still trying to be busy? When, when everything else is shut down and everything else is quiet, are we still trying to find something to do or, or something to pass our time to be busy, whether it's Netflix or, or playing video games, whatever it is you do. And I'm not saying you don't do those things. But what I am saying is just take this time to just enjoy the Lord and listen to the Lord and what the Lord has to say to us. And so if you would, if you would just take this time and listen to the Lord, study the Word of God, I know the Lord is really trying to get our attention. I think we need to just focus on what he's trying to speak to us about. I think these are important times for us. I think we, you know, God's got our attention. Let's listen to what he has to say. So I'm going to pray. If you would bow your heads with me, let's pray and let's seek the Lord. Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for our school teachers. Let's pray for our nation. And let's pray for all those around us that are in leadership that have things, you know, the decisions they have to make. Father, Lord, we just thank you for... This time of quietness, Lord, 
that we can focus on you, that we can look into what you've called us to do, Lord. And we we love your word, Father. We thank you for Psalms 46, Lord. Is here it says, be still and know that I'm God. And I pray, God, that the students that are out there and, and whoever's listening, Father, that we can learn to just be still and listen to your word, Father. A lot of times we go fast through our devotionals or fast through our teachings. And and Father, we just want to take this time to be quiet and listen to your words, Lord. Listen to what you're saying to our leaders, Lord. And we thank you for our president, Lord. We thank you for our local leaders, our pastors, our teachers, Lord. Father, you are in total and full control. But Father, you use humans. You use us, Lord. Father, you give us power, Lord, in certain things that we do. And I pray for those that are in power, Lord, that they would make the right decisions in the, the coming times, Lord. And and Father, we pray for those in the medical positions, Lord, as they, they come along with this coronavirus trying to, you know, find a vaccine or whatever it is that can slow it down, Father. But I pray, God, that, that we know and we see that you are in total and full control. And we use this time, Father, to just focus on you. And I thank you for your love for us, Lord. And I pray for all the students out there, Lord, that you would just give them this time to reflect on who you are. I pray for the students out there that don't know you, that they would come to know you. And Father, it's all about you, Lord. And we know that you are on the throne and you are in full control. None of this caught you by surprise, Lord. And Father, we just thank you for your love for us. And I pray for our community around us, Lord. I pray for our teachers, Lord, that that soon we can gather back together, Father. But, Father, we can always remember this time that we had spent with you, Father, in the quietness, Lord. You've removed everything away from us that we may hear your voice. And I pray that we do that today. It's in your name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, students, remember, just listen to the voice of the Lord right now. In the quietness, in the stillness, just listen to the voice of the Lord. It's it's good to be able to talk to you. I do miss you guys, and I'm ready to gather back together, and I hope we can soon. God bless, and have a great day.